you hear the stories, everybody's got a snake story, everyone. There's no way in the world that venom has evolved over time to harm people. It's just impossible. And so for an animal that doesn't have any arms and legs, really the only thing left to do is, is bite. It's not snake's fault. It's just really an inconvenience to us if we get bitten. My name is Dr. Mitchell Lederman. Uh, I've been handling snakes for 22 years now. And I sort of figured at about 16 years of age that looking for snakes was too hard and kind of figured that surely they must be getting into people's houses and so I thought rather than me go to the snakes I'd let the snakes come to me and that's when I started doing relocation. What I try and do is I try and invite people into the, the snakes world I suppose and let them just come and have a touch and have a feel and educate the general public on snakes, snake awareness and trying to replace myth with fact and replace fear with respect. Which is a pretty tough job when you're dealing with snakes because people tend to fear them whether they're harmless or not harmless. A snake's only dangerous if it bites you. Snakes aren't aggressive, that they're only defensive. I mean, aggressive is a strange word that people feel so comfortable using with venomous snakes. Caution and respect is always the best remedy for snakes. If you just let them alone, then obviously it doesn't matter whether it's a venomous snake or a non-venomous snake. That if you stay still, the snake just ignores you as if you're an inanimate object. But unless you're moving around erratically, even the most toxic snake, even the most feared and loathed snake will just simply crawl over your feet and wander off into the distance.